As a senior player, you can't go around with your head shoved up your ass thinking you're the greatest of all time and not giving back. I look back on my career now and think if I hadn't had that experience and advice, you know, how different my career might have been. Jacko came and grabbed me and said, come and have a beer, uh, Jason, come sit down. And we shook hands and he just started talking cricket to me. We're here to talk about the test, a new era for the Australian team, a doco series available on Amazon Prime Video. Leadership in cricket is crucial. You have to have, even as the coach, you have to be a great leader, of course, the captain, and senior players and mentors. Did you have any mentors coming through? For me, I think it's always been a big thing in Australian cricket is to have strong leadership. You know, when I first came in the Australian team, um, Steve Waugh was captain. Obviously, you know, his leadership and his record for Australia was, was almost probably second to none. And then after that, it was Ricky Ponting. So. You know, Australian cricket's always had a proud history of having really strong, successful leaders. And I think that's where, you know, we obviously want to be able to get back to given what's unfolded in recent times. I guess from, from my point of view, the one thing that stood out was you, you've got to make sure you don't forget what it was like and the pressure that the young guys are under because you can easily forget it. And, you, and you're comfortable, you're playing well, you're doing well at that level, but the young guys are at a different level and they're probably nervous, they're apprehensive, they're worried whether they're going to be good enough. So they got all this stuff going through their mind. So as, as a leader, I think probably my biggest strength was trying to have that empathy for them. And hopefully that was enough to get the best out of them uh, through that phase of particularly New South Wales cricket. As a senior player, you can't go around with your head shoved up your ass thinking you're the greatest of all time and not giving back. When you get a young guy in, you know how nervous he's going to be. And that's all you're trying to get through, mate. Just, just do what you do. Don't try and impress anyone. Because there's when you get into even first grade, let alone playing shield cricket, you've really got no idea, have you? You don't know what you're up for, you don't know physically what you're in for, your skill level. And I found that I drew on a couple of guys heavily when I first got into the New South Wales side. Was it the same for you? Us young seamers, we tended to hang out together a little bit, I suppose socially, but for our learning and uh, about the game and improvement and speaking about the game, we, we would lean on the likes of Paul Nobes, Darren Lehman, Greg Blewett, James Brayshaw, uh, Jamie Siddons, Timmy Nielsen. Um, these you guys really, so you really had no one there, did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's a seriously, seriously good top five, it, it six, was, isn't it? It was just a, it was just a great experience yeah. uh, for, for a young guy. And being welcomed into that dressing room as, as a young guy, um, I'll never forget how that made me feel. Uh, because as, a, as Kato just mentioned, you know, you, you are a young kid and you're sort of a little bit daunted, but to be made to feel at home and that you're part of it, I think is a really good trait of Australian, in Australian cricket. I remember going to the Australian, South Australian dressing room for my first game and Darren Lehman walked up and you know, put his arm around me. So a young fella come, on, come in and just made me feel at home. And, and I never, forgot, never ever forgot that. When I got pulled out of obscurity in 81, to play that first test at Old Trafford, which was my seventh first class game, they roomed me with Dennis Lilly. He walked in, I stood at attention. I didn't, I, I, I'd only met him once. Hello, hello Mr. Lilly. Mate, I did. I, but again, in saying that, he was just fantastic. He said th these things to me. You're in the best 11 that's available, otherwise you're not here. Have a look at that emblem on your jumper. We just expect you to give everything. That's it. Yeah. That was it. You're playing for your country. Yeah. We just expect you to give your guts on the field, bowl your heart out, play your heart out, whatever. And I room with him, mate. I just couldn't believe it.